before we get into this episode, just a quick update of what happened between last episode and this episode. As you're going to see here in a second, I have a huge inventory full of loot. So I decided to go, right after recording, I went to the farmer's market just to see if I could get some prices of things and try to, you know, maybe I was going to look for, for, uh, for tailoring floors and whatnot. And there were two vampires fighting. And I just was like, immediately I thought, oh, oh, okay, let me just hide here real quick. So I hopped into rat form. They were definitely way higher level than me. I think one of them was probably moving stuff from one base to another. That's the only thing that makes sense. I don't know why he had so much blood and things on him. But I took the opportunity to, uh, you know, whenever the guy got killed by the other vampire, the other vampire looted just a few things off his body then left. And I came in and just kind of said, take all. Now... I don't really feel comfortable using all of this stuff. I know I, a lot of you guys have mentioned in the comments before, hey, look, it's free loot. Just use it. You know, it's that's totally, totally legitimate in a normal run. For me, I was trying to keep this run. I'm really trying to keep this run as like honest as possible, I guess you could say. So I don't I didn't I don't really plan on using uh, a lot of the stuff in that I got from this. So I put I did get some thick hide. I believe, which I just tossed in my tannery. Uh, I got some uh, some of those shattered weapons, which I just just you know I just devoured them, and then I got uh, some silver coins. So I did use the silver coins to buy a merciless iron axe recipe and an upgraded pendant recipe. So I took advantage of that, and I probably won't be using much of this blood other than on my castle heart. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update of what was going on there. So that whenever you see all of this, you're not like, wait, what? How do you get the axe recipe and whatnot? So anyway, hope you enjoy this episode. And if you like this content, feel free to subscribe because I'm going to be making more content like this down the road. So anyway, enjoy. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Alpha to Adam. This is going to be um, continuing off from where we left off here. So I know at the beginning of the video, I put, so, you know, basically just a little explanation of what occurred between the last episode and this episode. So just to show what that looks like, um, I decided to, yeah, I decided not to really keep too much of the, so here's all the blood that I got. I mean, obviously, this is insane and like insane amounts of hearts. Um, I have, you know, that's kind of the thing. The, the thing I'm not really sure what to do with here is just, just this. This is like a ton of stuff. Like the way I see it, though, is we really don't actually need that many uh, primal blood essence at end game. So I don't really feel bad about having a bunch of this because I, I don't really plan on gearing out, you know, a full castle's worth of servants, which if that was the case, I would definitely need a ton of primal blood essence. So I don't really feel bad about this currently. Other than that, uh, we got a bunch of silver coins that I spent on merciless iron axes, as well as a pendant of the dusk watcher. Just these two here. Um, and obviously for silver coins, that is kind of like a time skip, but I don't really mind, you know, like it was two recipes. Um, Really, all that is is just saving time from us, like, running around getting containers and stuff. So, like, who cares? You know, I, I don't really mind doing that. Uh, and then in terms of, like, the other things, the five shattered weapons, I just cons I just broke them down here. I mean, five Scourge Stone, you saw up at Dunley Monastery, a single coffin can have six. And then iron, this is basically two nodes. So, 20, 20 iron is how much there was from that. Uh, so, I mean, that's that's basically two nodes worth of iron. So, who cares? You know, like, I'm like, oh, whatever. We'll just keep that. Uh, and then, other than that, the thick hide right here. I mean, I'm not really planning on using this very much. So, I just kind of tossed it in here. So, no big deal there. So, essentially, the thing that I'm probably going to hold off on is cashing in on all of this blood. Because, one, I probably won't need it. And, two, you know, it's just a little, a little bit cheesy. Other than that, we have, you know, some potions or whatever. So... Um, we're going to do a quick, we're going to take a quick inventory of where we are as of right now and where we need to be. So, 
Oh, we're actually low on essence. So actually, I will use some of this blood for the essence now, for the heart. Actually, now I'm thinking about it because look, our heart's about to decay here. So I might as well do this. There, we got a little more time on that. So yeah, that works. Okay, so let's do a quick inventory of where exactly we stand. So boss-wise, we've done pretty much everything that matters in Tier 1 so far. Tier 2, uh, we haven't killed Christina, which we will probably need to kill. Vincent will be nice whenever we start. You know, We actually probably need to get that done fairly quickly because it would be good to be able to send back... Um, it would be good to be able to send back high percentage blood that we find and then the glass blower uh that'll be useful eventually i'm not really concerned about this just yet Terra the geomancer i'm not planning on raiding anyone currently so i'm not really concerned about that yet uh and then this is what our next tier of you know what we're looking at here so jade and raziel are kind of the next two in terms of like in tier two's zone or in like dunley's area and from there we're going to go up climb up the ladder here and move on towards the end of Act 2, brushing up into Act 3. So that's what we're kind of looking at. So let's take inventory of what we have in terms of like gear. We are full hollow fanged out, scourge stone pendant, and an iron reaper. That's level 50. So the goal here is to kind of get closer so that whenever we move into, you know, these fights here, we're not like you know, 12 levels lower and stuff. So we can't even track anything at the moment. And while I know where Ang Angora is, I don't really feel like fighting her 12 levels lower. That just sounds like not very much fun to me. So <laughs> it sounds kind of dumb. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to focus on these items here. So what can we do here to boost us up? Now we could do Merciless Hollow Fang leggings and boots. I'm usually not a fan of this personally. I usually don't really care about that that much. So let's look right here in the tailoring bench. You know, we could get this or I could just skip ahead and try to get these instead. Just go straight to Dawn Guard. I'm sorry, Dawn Thorn. Uh, which, obviously that's a lot of stuff. It would be nice to be able to get tailoring floors to reduce this by 25%. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out on that. But, um... In the meantime, I mean, we could make Merciless Hollow Fang, a two-piece Merciless Hollow Fang, and get a little bit of a boost. But I'm not really that concerned about it right now. What I do want to do is upgrade my items here. So I am going to have to make axes, and I'm going to have to upgrade my pendant. So let's see if we have the materials to do that. And that will actually set us to about, I believe, 56, which is a much more comfortable level to be bossing or to be fighting things in the... Cursed Forest. So here we need some glass and some topaz. Let's take a look there. So we have the topaz. We're actually going to need um, rubies as well for axes. Glass. And so look, we can immediately just go ahead and make this. That's going to give us some physical crit chance. Uh, is it the best option? Mm, it's not the worst option. In fact, I really like physical crit chance. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And then the next thing we need to do is make a merciless iron axe. So obviously we need the reapers, we need reinforced planks, we need to make axes in general. So yeah, we need planks. Yeah, let's go. So let's go ahead and do this. Grab these. Grab these. We are going to have to cut down some more trees soon, unfortunately. Uh, where am I looking? Iron axes. And we need reinforced planks, which I believe we had some in here. Look at that. That's pretty lucky. And we will make our axe here. And there we go. So now we are in a situation where we're going to have two weapons to choose from, Reaper and Axes. I'm going to be probably staying on Reaper for the most part. And now we're going to just compulsively sort back into that. And we will compulsively sort in there. Or just sort into that. Put this back in there. And like I said, we're probably going to need some more planks soon. That would be really nice. In fact, I'm actually going to grab these and go ahead and upgrade our front door and put some doors on our stuff. I'm sure that's probably causing some anxiety to some of you guys. Me, I usually just don't really care that much. Uh, I, I kind of figure people aren't really looking to raid a tiny little tier one castle that they see on the map as a tier one. So I'm going to do this though, just in case. We're going to add some doors. 
Um, obviously, this one's going to be open here. Uh, let me see. What do we need? We need one more plank. That's pretty funny. So we'll go like this. And we'll wait for the one plank and put our last little door on. Which, that way, at least, it would make it a little bit less obvious that, you know, we have nothing. <laughs> we have no defense here. So <laughs> uh, that's a little silly. But yeah, okay. There we go. Let me just put this over here. All right. So next step is, so if at 56, we can look at the thing and suddenly look at this. Now we can see the 60s and the 62s. So let's take inventory of what our next progression step is. I, I'm taking a little bit extra time doing this because I just want to illustrate how we can slow, I'm going to slow it down a little bit and just illustrate like how you can go about planning your next steps. So in my mind, I already know what my next steps are, but I'm going to explain them very clearly here. So what's the goal? Whenever we're talking about progression in general, what is keeping you from defeating you know, the, the highest guys, the shard bosses, little 80s, you no know, Solaris here and sticks here? What is keeping you from doing that? Well, it's primarily it's gear. That's the thing we're waiting on. So, okay, how do we get that gear? How can we streamline that gear? How do we like prevent too many like, I don't know what you would say, like loops or running around in circles? Um, just, just like confusion, I guess you could say, wasted time. Well, okay, let's look in here. What, what do we need? Dawnthorn. Okay, so we need silk, and we need pristine leather for Dawnthorn. We need a lot of that. So I'm thinking, okay, tailoring floors immediately reduces the amount we need by 25%. That's a big bonus. Pristine leather, we're going to need mutant grease for pristine leather, which we'd have none of, so we'll have to go get some of that. And we're in a good spot, a good level-wise, to kind of go into Gloomrot South. And then as far as silk goes, we'll need a lot of cloth, and um, silkworms, which we have none of currently. So what we can do in the meantime is actually grab some of our leather and our, what's it called? Plant fiber, which we actually don't have that much plant fiber, but it'll be good, it'll be good enough for now. And we will toss this into our loom so that when we come back, we'll actually have some more. Um, let me actually do this because this actually makes a lot. Yeah, so we'll toss it into our loom, so whenever we come back, we have a bunch more uh, cloth waiting for us, which will help a lot for that. In fact, I'm going to grab this whole stack here. I'm not really planning on using Merciless Hollow Fang, so we'll just toss it all in here. Okay? So, I hope that makes sense. Like, we're kind of just thinking in the in the future, like, okay, we're going... I know a lot of this comes from experience or, like, you know, research and looking it up. That's why I would invite people to kind of make a plan if they need to. I need, to, I need to construct a way gate. I'm actually going to do that now. Um, even though we're next to a way gate, I'm going to use the opportunity now to do that. So it's grave dust, stone brick, gem dust. See, they changed that uh, quite a bit. So uh, we have a lot of grave dust, stone brick, gem dust. Oh, actually, while we're waiting here, gem dust. Speaking of gem dust, yeah, we'll go ahead and toss a teleporter, which we need to do anyway. This will not work. We'll interact with it. There we go. An and the next thing is a stone coffin, which I think we can actually make if we get our amethyst. Yeah, we can get our amethyst and do that. That's why we saved the two amethyst. Uh, we'll do this one. Why not? New hotness. Mm, we'll put it over here, I guess. I Obviously, these things will probably be moved soon. Next thing is a servant coffin, which we don't even have the planks for, I don't think. Um, let me just check. Uh, we might actually have the planks for it. That and copper is what we're looking for. I think a greater blood essence is the other thing that we need. Yep. So we'll toss one of these in here. I know this is like super clunky. That's okay. We can uh, you know move it anytime. Now we can at least dominate humans. So that's a really nice addition. Uh, we will need to also. It's probably a smart thing to make an alchemy lab if or alchemy table if we can to see if we can work towards our dusk colors. Uh, this is going to go here for now because we're going to end up using this to make our uh, scourge stone. Okay, close please. Toss this in here. Uh, Jade is on the menu for the primal blood essence, but not this very second. We don't really need, it, we don't really need to worry about her just yet. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. But we will have to worry about her soon. 
Uh, let's see. I can't remember exactly what we need for this. Planks and sulfur, which we actually don't have enough planks, I don't think. Yeah, see, we're actually low on planks. So, we'll take the time to cut some trees down. I know, this is the very, this is the boring part. But, at the, you know, at this stage of the game, whenever you get to tier 2 and you're closing in on tier 3, um, you can kind of just leave base if you want to. Like, I've, a lot of times I've done this, I've done these runs, I've actually just, like, completely foregone this set, this part here. Not got, not gotten anything to like, you know, not any, no planks or anything like that. No alchemy table. I've done this before. I, I've done that before, like skipped everything. But I think um, it's smart to set yourself up with that because that way we can start using any kind of potions. I mean, we're going to have to make one anyway whenever we fight Azariel. We're going to have to make one anyway when we want Blood Rose Brew. We're going to have to make one anyway whenever we want Dusk Callers. You see what I'm saying? There's all these things that like... Just taking a little bit of time to do this, it's really not the big a deal. So while we're cutting those down, we'll go ahead and go over here. Toss these in in the meantime to cook. And we're actually going to keep cutting these down for now. Just a few more because you just taking a little bit of time out of your day to uh, chop some wood every so often can really save you a lot of time in the future since a lot of time, you know, we can just let this refine as we're gone. And our flowers are growing, so... Let's go ahead and grab those. There we go. Toss that in there. See, we already got a bunch of cloth here. And that's refining still. And I'm going to put these items away. If I can remember where they go. Uh, you go here. Yeah, you go here. Okay, I'm actually going to grab these. The whetstone we're going to need to make scourge stone. I'm actually going to grab a stack of these because I have an idea of what to do with it before we leave. We're going to stop off at the, off the, off at the trader and grab some blood rose brew, which will help us just in those like uh, very big uh oh situations. And then, um, let's see. I think that's probably it for now. Grab our planks. We need some blood. These go in here. And we are going to do, make a little alchemy table. Now we have alchemy lab flooring, but I'm not really concerned about that. Okay, so Scourge Stone, Hell's Clarion. If you remember, we picked up a bunch of Hell's Clarion recently. I said it was for Brew of Ferocity, or at the beginning of the game. Brew of Ferocity is what I mentioned, but I, it's also for Dusk Callers as well. So again, this is like that whole planning ahead thing. You can kind of skip some of the plants that you see, but just kind of trying to remember, you know, I probably am going to want some dusk callers eventually. You know, that's it's nice to do that. I'm not going to keep these with me though, uh, simply because I don't have any prison cells yet, so <laughs> it's not really much point in keeping those. Uh, let's see here. We'll toss these in this for now, and we'll also put this in here. Uh, we'll put it right there. Toss our plank here. And the dusk collars, we'll just toss in here for now. Okay, so now we are set up for success here. We are ready to go. I'm going to hit the teleporter. I'm actually going to hit the the, the teleporter here and just maybe this is this is this the laziest teleport? <laughs> no, I'm going to go here first. I'm going to hit the shady merchant camp over here and just go ahead and grab some blood rose brew as many as they have to give me and I don't really believe there's anything else I I mean the fish are good as well but I, I don't care about those yet because I'm not really looking at prisoners at this very second and we have a bunch of fat goby so okay right here hello my friend there we go and you know what we're actually going to grab one of these and these um, I know it seems like you might wonder you know I mean I don't know. Those things are, I think, I feel like those are, the Brew Ferocity and Enchanted Brew are things that people take for granted. You know, they kind of just don't really consider them a lot. You don't, you don't, it's because you don't actually need them. You don't really need them to make your, you know, to fight and win in these, some of these fights. You don't actually need a Brew of Ferocity and Enchanted Brew, but I will say this, they help a lot. And if you do use them, if there's, what is going on here? There we go. <laughs> that was weird. If you're in a situation, you know, it can, they can make that little extra, 
you know, it gives you that little extra power to get through and uh, make your life just a bit easier. There we go. Nice. Okay. So that's going to be enough of that. Uh-oh. Hey, don't kill her. What are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of weird that they auto-target those guys. At least she didn't target us, though. Okay, so we have six coins. I don't really care about, you know, going back to base to deposit six coins. So I'm going to just set ourselves up here. And we are going to do the next thing that we need to do, which is we need mutant grease. Before any, you know, we can really do anything here. So I'm going to just go ahead and head over to the vampire wake gate. Uh, up north and head to Gro Gloomrot South. That is the goal. And we're going to go this way. Um, my goal is to get to the Pools of Rebirth around that area and kind of just run through as quickly as I can uh, in order to just see if there's any fights going on. Um, I've also... I haven't tried to do the Rustlock Village looting run. I'm not 100% sure how like easy that is, to be honest. So I am going to give it a try, most likely, just to see what kind of loot and returns I get for doing it. That is a lot of bad guys. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? Look at that. More guys. Okay, we're going this way. Uh, I'm going to hop off right here because those guys actually seem pretty low. And we have our axes now. Oops. So we're going to be using... Um, uh, I kind of want to suck that, but it's okay. Alright, so it's nighttime at least, so we actually get a little more, you know, ability to defend ourselves here from the sun. Dodge this guy. That was mean. There we go. Get a little more grease. Tech scrap. You aren't going to say no to tech scrap either. You end up needing so much so much tech scrap that, you know, if you can farm it or semi-farm it a little bit early, it's pretty nice. Uh, going out of your way to do it? Uh, probably not necessary. There we go. All right, so we're going to hit up some of these and grab these lootables. All right. We don't really care about Domina yet. Uh, I'm not going to waste my time with that. It's nice. Some meat and grease. Some silver. Yeah, so this is another spot you can get. You know, we mentioned last episode about uh, silver and whatnot. Looking for silver spots. Uh, we're going to fight these guys. Oh, 63 brute. Oh, wow. I didn't know that actually sucked you out of it. Hmm. Uh, now nah, we'll kill him. I actually like the 99 creature here. It's so strong. There we go. Get the kids inside. I love the new voice lines. They're so good. All right, we're going to go this way. Uh, do I care about these guys? Not really. Mm, I don't care about those guys either. See, I don't want to turn this into like a... I don't want to turn this into a rust lock farming run, like where I'm just sitting here just, <laughs> you know, fighting endlessly. So I'm just going to run in real quick and see if I can't loot the uh, lootables here, the containers. There we go. And where are the watchers? There we go. Oops. I don't really need rugged hide. Okay, so this is uh, this seems pretty good, but I'm not getting as much meat and grease as I actually want. So. That's so annoying. <laughs> And we'll leave. Grab our horse and get out of here. We'll head, up, we'll head up north to the Pools of Rebirth here. Ooh, we won't say no to that. 
Yeah, let's see if we can just run through this whole town. There's our little friend Domino. Not really. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I don't want to play rough. Have fun though. Yeah, kinky, kinky person. All right. Let's see if we can find anything. Any dead mutants? There's some right over here fighting. So we're just gonna run around here real quick while these guys all fight to the death. There we go. Here's some right here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is such an annoying uh, annoying thing there. Let's see if I can get some out of that. Alright. Is he actually still fighting us? <laughs> still chasing us this far? There we go. Go ahead and pop a heal. And we're going to run back through this one more time. How much mutant goose do we have? So only 177. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, That is not enough to get what we actually need. So run past this. Missed that. Mutant grease. So we'll just run all the way through and come back around. Again, we could be fighting these guys. I mean, we are on level to fight them, but it just seems like a kind of like a waste of time. Just sit here for this long fighting these guys whenever you can just run through and pick up the grease yourself. Like this, you know? Okay, that's the problem with this that strategy though, right there. Alright, we'll get out of here. Alright. So how, many, how much does that give us here? 501. Mm, I think that's probably good for now. I think that's probably a good amount for now. So we are going to... We actually have a decent amount of loot. Um, oh, here we go. Nice. Some more. We like that. Oh, I saw a recipe book over here. Versus Hall of Fang. Don't need it. Yeah, see, this has actually been super nice in terms of just getting our... Uh, the basic loot here. Yeah, nice. So we have about 600. That's going to be good enough to start us. I uh, really want tailoring floors. We have 48 um, coins, which I, I know, on top of the ones we have at home, that should be enough. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I was trying to go to the uh, the cave, which is over here, to the east. Okay, so let's while we're running back, let's talk about what we need to do here. We're setting ourselves up to go into the forest. This was a decent amount of stuff. Let's grab this, actually. There we go. Uh, I don't really care about pollen yet. I probably will later, but for now, I don't. Mm, I don't see any other blossoms. Okay, so here we go. This is why we like East Farbane, or West Farbane. So, I mean, look at this. Gloom Rot. Take the... Take the uh, cave passage, run back this way, and look at this. We are basically... Oh, actually, can just run this way. We are basically home already. So, I mean, that's the power of those caves. We just did a quick gloom rot run, and now that we've been up there, we'll have access to a teleporter. Say this one right here. So, at the very least, we can use that teleporter. I went the wrong way again. Um, and obviously there's other teleporters that we can unlock, but that's going to be good enough for what we need it for, for now. And as we need to, we can just kind of teleport up there, run around real quick, get, get some mutant grease, and move on with our lives. So we'll do this. Can't do anything with that yet. Merciless Hall of Fame boots. I think we already have this recipe. Let's confirm. We do. And go like this. <laughs> okay. Do that. And then we're going to let's see. So we actually need some we actually can un we can actually discover a uh, a recipe. 
do this. Basically, I'm just kind of going through and sorting through all the stuff that I have. We have a bunch of stuff to kind of get rid of here. Okay, we'll grab this. And our other scrolls. Let's see if we can't get lucky with something that we actually need. Like, it would be nice to get tailoring floors or something else nice, but... Of course, we get chairs. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, always a struggle. Okay, so we're going to go radium here. This goes here. Oh, do I care about morning lilies? Not really. Keep this here. Put our plant fiber in here. We could definitely use more plant fiber for whenever we do this. There we go. For whenever we start really going after cloth. But I think we're actually good for now. Okay. Um, coins. So before we go up there, we actually need 70 coins. Okay, good. I was like, please just let me have that. <laughs> like, and not have to worry about it. I don't really care about fire blossom seeds. Okay, so we are now going to go to the farmer's market to check for coins. Or sorry, check for tailoring floors. Um, again, this is taking a little bit of time, and we could be pushing progression really fast right now. We could be going into Cursed Forest. Um, which, I mean, if you wanted to do that in this situation, I wouldn't blame you. You know, a lot of times people just want to keep their eye on the on the ball in terms of boss progression. But sometimes you have to just take a second to set yourself up for later. And for me, in my opinion, this is kind of that moment. Right now is kind of that moment. Just set ourselves up before we go into the Cursed Forest. So that by the time we're done with the Cursed Forest, we can come out and just be good to go. Just be ready, ready, just, just be ready for action, I guess you could say. All right, go like this. And old lady time. Do we have tailoring floors? That would be nice if we did. <laughs> it would be really nice if we did. Hello, do you have our book? No. Kind of annoying, Iron Reaper. Mm. It's nice, but I don't really need it. Okay, that's good to know though. Um, I'm just going to keep these coins on me, and we're going to, I think, head up. Actually, do I buy a potion? Nah. Not needed. But we are going to head up to the... First things first, we're going to head up to the werewolf village here. Uh, we need pristine hide, but there's also a little strat you can do. I mean, this is kind of like a... This is a pretty standard one. I'm not sure if I want to spend all this time up there doing this, but by the time we get up there, it's going to be daytime anyway. It's not like I almost intended to just do this strat. It's essentially um, just killing or almost killing the workers who live at the werewolf village. So essentially you almost kill them. Oh, oh, what's this? Okay. Love that. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, what a snipe. What a snipe. We're going to run away so they don't kill my horse. They've been starting to focus the horse more, so. Come on, don't kill him. He's my favorite. Hmm. It's nice you can finally do that from horseback, by the way. It was very annoying when you could not do that from horseback. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, gonna, gonna keep running. Going to the werewolf village, so essentially what you do is, sorry, I'm getting very sidetracked here. Uh, what you do is, you get the workers in the camp very weak, and then whenever night comes around, they'll turn into werewolves, but they'll already be weak. Then, you murder them all at once, because their HP is very low. And, uh, Free pristine hide. It saves you a lot of time in terms of like fighting them. You don't have to use as many potions to fight them. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do that, but we're going to loot all the containers first as well. I'm carrying too much silver. That's what I get for... <laughs> there we go. Sword. That's what I get for not uh, depositing it back, but that's okay. We're almost out of silver anyway. Like You almost don't need any more anyway, so it's not really all that big a deal. Once we get our tailoring floors, like silver at that point... Come on, this is annoying. Obviously having a pouch would be helpful here, but do I really want to go through and like get a pouch? Not really. <laughs> and spend my time doing that. Maybe it'd be, maybe it'd be worth it, but... Um, 
you know, and, and if you're doing like a full full run where you're really going to need a bunch of stuff, you, know, you like having all the silver and like getting, you know, spending all the silver on Blood Rose Brew and stuff, and you really want to have all that is like important to you, then by all means, you know, use that uh, use that pouch. But for now, I'm just not going to worry about it yet until maybe probably Gold Sun maybe or. Okay. Just getting him a little weak here. Oh, that guy almost, is almost dead. All right, we're gonna do this. Where have we not looted? We looted all these guys. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. This is really good for this. So we're halfway through. These guys are getting pretty weak. But you got 25% worker. Man, that was not a lot of work. Oh, really? Sorry, bruh. Kid. <laughs> You're in my hood and ground, kid. It's funny. Huh. Yeah, we'll go like this. Those guys just should hopefully not be totally healed. So we'll, we'll take the time to somewhat hurt the ones that were not fully low. And we're halfway through. I know this is like, dude, you're wasting your time, but this really is a super nice kind of method here. So we'll, again, we're going to clear out all these boxes while we wait. It's not like we can't do anything while we're up here, you know? Like, there's plenty to do, so. There we go. This guy's got a little bit of HP I'm kind of annoyed about, but here we go. Don't die from that, please. Oh, he's good. Oh, close. There we go. So we got a lot of guys here, and we are going to kind of just roll, troll them around here for for a couple minutes, as silly as this is. <laughs> it's funny. This whole thing is, is very funny. We yeah, a little again. It seems like a waste of time, and you're like, bro, really? Like you're just gonna sit here doing this, <laughs> like fighting, like just running away from these guys, like really? But trust me, whenever you see what's going to happen, hopefully, it will go as planned, and we'll be able to like, just immediately kill all of these guys and just take advantage of it and get all of their pristine hide. Come on. Get that guy a little lower. See, they're all pretty low. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Run! Oh, there's a chest right there. Gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> this whole thing is just so silly. <laughs> so that guy's full. So definitely gotta watch out for that. All right, almost nighttime. This is just like the goofiest. I feel like just Benny Hill music should be playing in the background right now. It's just so funny. <laughs> just lean the little train of guys. Follow me, guys. Follow me. Okay. Yeah, this guy's full, though. That is kind of annoying. So hopefully we'll have enough to just really take these guys out. Hope you're not getting dizzy. Watching me run around in circles like this. <sighs> All right, the sun is going down. <laughs> Come on. Wait, what's this? Ooh, no! Oh, that sucks. I was trying to pick this up. Oh well, oh well. I lost one. Rest in peace, my friend. Wait, it's a little laggy? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't get laggy on me, please. No! I just want these. I just want those. That's really obnoxious. Oh well, we lost two of them. Look, I spent all that time doing that and I lost two of them. Very dumb. But, here we go. So 
So hopefully we get enough of them here. Oh, actually, they, three of them healed fully. That is not good. So we're actually going to run here. Wow, three of them healed that much. That's not actually common. Okay, leave me alone. Still chasing? Hmm, is he from the front of the village, maybe? Yeah, see, that's very annoying. We just spent all that time doing that. <laughs> that's, like, usually whenever they do, whenever you, the night comes, they don't heal right away, but something happened there and they actually healed. We'll suck those guys' blood since we'll need to anyway. Is he running away? Really? Okay. Look at that. That's insane. Right, we can probably just suck this guy's blood right away. Another guy right here is going to come on us. Alright, so it wasn't a total loss. I'm going to run around and grab these guys too here. Course. Got the hide when I didn't want to. Oh well, yeah, that could have been a lot worse. That could have ended a lot worse than it did. We still got 720 uh, off of that, and even though it took a little while, I feel like that was probably still going to be a little bit better than what it would have been. Yeah, nice. What you got health-wise? Oh, yeah, he's basically full. Don't want to mess with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was very odd. Most of the time, uh, they will not full heal off like that. That was very weird. Usually, you can get like a bunch of them with one little thing there. I'm not gonna, should I mess with this guy? I don't think I'm going to mess with that guy. We have a decent amount of stuff here. So let's go ahead and go kill Angora. Uh, anything we don't need, I'm going to drop here. I kind of don't actually think we need paper anymore. Oh, we don't have Blood Rush Brew. Don't need this. Don't care about this. Don't care about this right now. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Mm, we have a ton of this. I'm actually going to drop it. We have a ton of copper coins at the moment. Uh, we are going to head straight up to spider boy spider girl spider girl and we're gonna kill all of these guys as well we do want these uh we do want the silkworms Suck that. 45 sounds pretty good to me. Well, there's a few silkworms over there. What else do we not care about? I don't think I actually care about fear stingers at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna I might drop that. If I need to, I'll drop this. These phantasmal. Resets are so good. I wasn't sure how to feel about them at first, but just having that chance to just like suddenly have scholar blood resets, you know, is is it's just so crazy. Oh, we're gonna be switching to Ward of the Damned here shortly. Uh, did I miss a spider? I feel like I missed a spider. No, maybe not. I guess I could just do this. <laughs> I was like, oh, where's my counter? And I realized I already used it. Okay. Not 
Nice. Silkworm count, 18. Mm. That's a pretty good start. Definitely need as much of that as we possibly can in the beginning here. We like that very much. Oh wow, really? Oh. A little dodge there. Well, it's only 53, but I think that might set us up. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's not going to set us up. Never mind. Eh, it's always nice to have though. Okay. Out of the way, please. <laughs> Grave dust, sure, why not? All right, let's get moving. We're gonna set up, uh, we're gonna swap, swap over to Ward of the Damned now. But that heal jewel might actually be super nice as well. Look at that. That's so good. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So good. So good. Oh, hey. What? No wind up. No, no spawn time. Maybe we just came out swinging. And so, so this part here, we are going to need ghost shrooms eventually for our um, ghost yarn. Not too concerned about it, concerned about it right now. Uh, also need some, I guess, for our shroud. So, But we can just get that whenever. We take all four of these at once. I believe we can. Whoops. Whatever. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Look at this damage. Yeah, Axe is definitely pulling their weight right now. They just do so much damage. Don't teleport to that. Don't want to get in the poison. Nice. Oh, wow, what? Oh, here she is. Okay. Usually that brood mother is like over here. Maybe I'm just, that's what I'm used to. Okay, you gotta do this. A t a reset would be nice. What about now? Oh wow, look at that. Lost our reset counter. There we go. That's it. Okay, weird. And go for her right away. Oh my goodness, that reset is nuts. Whoa, oh, what? what? <laughs> there we go. Alright. Working our way through the cave at a pretty quick pace. And uh, Phantasm, Illusion Dash is also, uh, Veil of Illusion is also really good for PvP, just in case we find somebody in here. I feel like we probably won't, but the off chance that we do, it's really good. How many, okay, 36. See, that is not a lot. <laughs> that is not a lot. Hmm. Need to kill her, but there's so many guys here. There we go. I 
Ouchie. It's okay, we'll heal up before this whole thing anyway. Okay. Boom, done. And so, the next stage here, whenever we're going to fight Angora, uh, if you've seen any of my videos before in this stage of the game, um, I highly, highly recommend breaking all of the eggs before we do it, before we actually fight her. Um, it's just... The, she already summons so many spawns, and we're going to be underleveled enough that if we end up fighting her in a situation where we don't have... Nice, that's actually nice. You know, where she spawns more things than we can deal with. Huh, Grave Dust. Look at that damage. Yeah, if, uh, if, we, if we didn't do this, and, you know, and she's breaking all these things down, and guys like this come out while we're running from her other adds... It just becomes a nightmare very quickly. So we just take the take a little bit of time here to set the stage. Slow and methodical. And get yourself set up for success. Save our dash here. Hope they both commit at the same time. Okay. There, nice. And we'll go like this. Just walk away. Alright. Alright, Angora. Easy there. Easy there, girl. <laughs> One, two. Uh, we could go rat form, I guess. I don't think it's going to matter, but we could go rat form. What if she... Oh, dude, what if she, like, had, you know, what she was a spider, right? What if she was like, ooh, rats? I don't like rats. And <laughs> just, like, rat form didn't work on her. Interesting. Okay, just taking a little bit of time here. Yeah, this part is kind of a, again, it's a slow process here. This part's a little bit annoying, but it's going to make the fight just so much easier to deal with. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay. Nice. Don't look at me. Thank you. All right, so we're going to have to reset one more time here. Just because I don't want to deal with the exploding guy right there. There we go. And we'll lock down and we'll full heal here. And we're actually going to pop these potions as well. Because we should have enough time after doing that to not only fight this boss, but I'm probably also going to go up against uh, Falrod as well. Most likely, depending on what my loot looks like. I'm going to toss those. We have so much blood already. Let's get rid of that. All right, let's do this. Don't get hit by that. Dodge this. Dodge that. Wow, not even using her super charge up move already. Oop, meant to dodge that. So Reaper is actually really good for this fight as well, I will say. But really, just Word the Damned, that's the one you're looking at. It's just such a strong ability. Oh. Ooh, got hit by poison. Ooh. Use that to get out of it. Oh, watch out. All right, we have a friend. Kind of a mistake there. Didn't get a good uh, summon. Okay, so she's at half. Get out of this. And we gotta get her burned out as much as we can here. Nice. And again, yeah, the more chaos burn we have on her, the better. Man, that phantasm stacks is actually crazy. <laughs> Why I got that, I don't know. Probably should have saved it. And... There we go. And...
All right, so we are getting her down here. So I'm kind of focusing here. The idea is you're using Word of the Damned on cooldown, and you're really going to have to move around a lot. These adds you can kind of ignore. This is why Axes and Reaper are really good against this, because you can kind of just, like, throw them out. Axes slowing is just a super nice thing whenever you hit them with Axe E. Oof. Pull this in. Oh, we ran out of teleport, too. What was this? Why is that circle just sitting on the ground? That threw me off. I'm My mouse is lost there. But look at the healing, actually. Like, we're kind of just full. Ridiculous. Oh, because of uh, because of that word of the damned. Whoops, because of that word of the damned thing. I was wondering, I was like, how are we healing up this much? And it was the word of the damned thing. I mean, I got tons of damage at the end there because I was kind of not paying attention. But the word of the damned uh, gem that's healing us for every hit, because we're absorbing so many hits, it's just like a 20 HP heal every time. So that's amazing. Okay, Merciless and Reaper. What do we got here? Veil of Chaos. Spawns a second illusion when recasting. That's actually really good. So this is actually what Mercer, what uh, Veil of Chaos used to do. Was every time you used it twice, it would, it would do double illusions, I, I believe. So 70 Silkworm. Is that enough? Hmm. I don't think so. But I'm not going to go back through and fight it again. We now have the ability to unlock, to do that ourselves. So we'll probably just be doing that. Oh, I actually need to do the Wanderer, I just realized. So actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to hit the cave. I'm going to mark it on my map here, if I remember correctly where it is. <laughs> they changed the cave location, so I have to like remember exactly where it is. I believe it's like here. Oh, no, it's right there. Yeah, I think it's there. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll hit the cave because it's a nice and easy exit. The fact that somebody built here is kind of wild. <laughs> I, I think that's like the worst spot. Well, probably the worst spot in the game. Maybe not. Maybe that's over-exaggeration, but... It's a very bad base location. It can, it can get attacked on all sides, and sure, it's in the Cursed Forest. So they have to deal with shrouds, but like you have to deal with shrouds too. <laughs> or like having your shroud or whatever, but you have to deal with that too, the Curse of the Forest. So Yeah, overall, a little crazy. And we are going to witness the power of the caves yet again. We already witnessed the Gloomrock Cave. Now, behold, the Cursed Forest Cave. And the power of building in West Farbane. Oops. Man, Merciless Iron Reapers and stuff just feel like such a big power spike. As well as having, you know, the uh, our double our level two pendant and whatnot. It just feels like such a giant power spike. We're at the situation. We're at a situation. Where we can kill Raziel. We can kill Jade. Both of those bosses just without even really thinking. <laughs> it's just very easy now. Uh, just our damage overall. You saw how much damage you're doing to Angora. We, if I had been paying attention at the end, I kind of just like lost focus a little bit because I was like, "Man, what's healing us?" And then I got hit by like ten things. But if I had been paying attention the whole time, I probably would have cleared that Angora fight at like max HP, which is in part word of the damned, but also just the overall damage we're doing. Okay. Let's make some silk. That's going to do it for this episode of Alpha to Atom. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you did. And next episode, we are going to be venturing deeper into the Cursed Forest. So anyway, thank you for watching, and we will catch you in the next one.